views here. I guess you can tell I'm wearing the sweater. Jeremy's wearing the sweater too. You got the memo, I guess. <laughs> got it, bro. Yeah, but we're out here going for smallmouth bass. I can't wait, man. Northwest Ontario. This is God's country, I tell you. We love fishing out over here. I got the olive green right off the bat. It's either this or pearl is what I always throw on. I'll have that on all the time. We already saw some smallies swimming in front of us, so I'm gonna beat Jerry and get a cast out right away here and hopefully get the first fish. Jerk bait smallies, cold water. <laughs> first bass of the year. That's a solid fish, look at that. Look at these sticky hooks. I would think it's about two and a half pounds. And that one was just over here. I did one jerk off and it slammed it. like 615 feet I'm pretty sure we're getting down to 10 if you're a right loser now. like Jeremy you put a clasp on there I tie mine direct I think it affects it but it we'll probably see, doesn't we'll see though. today I guess it's one haul one haul right now we'll see today what happens swing them in well maybe oh, your man. little uh, cross snap maybe is okay hey it's 2-1 now man we're catching them shallow, it's about like two, three, four, five feet. So I'm casting it over there. Give it a couple of reels or a couple of jerks just to get it depth. I've got the XR8 on here, Glass Ghost. I have the olive green one, but I snagged it. There it goes, $12. Cold water like this, we're talking 47, 48 degrees. You should jerk, jerk and pause, and that thing will just suspend. If you've never used a jerk bait before, it'll just sit there and pre-spawn, these bass need to take a really good look at it before committing. Barely hooked. Stay on, buddy. Right there. What's the score now, bro? 3-1. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy's making a better own score. is going like it's crazy if you do it right actually you should jerk it on a slack line what i mean by that is the line is slack and then you jerk it from there and that'll cause the lure to go all over the place Close to the camera, I'll look okay. I think he's barely hooked. Yes. The biggest one of the day so far. My uh, jerk bait box, one of them anyway. I'll show you guys here. So I've got X wraps and shadow wraps. See these in the store, deep diving slash bait. So that's a jerk bait, X wrap deep, XRD 10. These are good to go right out of the box. They get worn out sometimes. You can buy replacement ones for these as well. And you could you could swap these hooks out for bigger ones if you want, or maybe a particular brand that you like. I've swapped them out for like mustads and stuff like that in a tournament, some of them, but right out of the box, most uh, uses, it's fine. Ideally, you're gonna tie a loop knot. So you just do a simple overhand. And I've got that. You take this into the eye. And now the point of this is whatever's here is gonna be your loop and you're tying your knot to that as though like that were the eye, for example. 
So I'll do a few wraps here. Six wraps, and you're going to go back into that now. Just as though that were the, the eye lit or... Well, look at that. That's a loop knot. So the whole point of that is that it's all free action here kind of thing. And that's just as strong, as long as you're not strong. You want to jerk these things on a slack line so then you get the most action. And if you do it right, like Mr. Gord Pizza there said one time in a video, if you do it right, this thing will actually turn around and look that bass right in the eye. No self-respecting bass would just let that go un unpunished. So if you can make this thing turn around, bass is going to bash it. Get the net. It's a nice one. And the olive green. Beautiful. I have three casts. There. Oh, just saying three casts in a row. Four yeah. casts in a row. Oh, yeah. Nothing crazy big. I'll let that in there. There's a whole pile of these. Still fun to catch, just off the main lake kind of stuff here, islands and stuff like that is what we're catching them on. See if I can get five in a row. Even if they don't want to eat, they gotta inspect it. There, five in a row. Well, nothing to write home about, but it's still five smallmouth bass in a row. And always be careful when you're grabbing any of these things with trebles and stuff like that that's i gotta hold that even closer to where to make it even look bigger <laughs> yep. hold on jay hold on we're gonna do six in a row here you're just second. telling me to video tape so you can catch up to yeah, me yeah. a little bit six in a row watch this <laughs> and the streak is over oh there he's on no it's on six in a row is that six or twelve <laughs> twelve twelve in a row <laughs> That's how the counting we're, we're going goes. With the, here's Lavopin's counting again. Six or 12 in a row. One more, Jer. One more. I'm going to put this thing down, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Seven in a row. I'll yeah. save that cast for you, bro. You can cast five. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, look. See, you waked on it. You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You probably can't see it on camera, but we can see this show go right down into the depths there and if we look carefully enough with polarized glasses you just see the fish come and take it i saw that one come up and there he's on seven jer i wish these were three pounders oh, hey. it counts <laughs> it counts it broke the surface of the water no you can't catch 14 in a row like me <laughs> now it's 14 from seven to 14 huh I saw two fish follow. That's bigger than the one out. I got. <laughs> and then this guy took it. We're at the boat, baby. <laughs> ah, food, man. It's all over your boat? Yeah, it's all over my chair, man. Look. I just wiped it. It's all over the chair, man. Oh, look. Two Rivers Boat Works. There's an awesome detailer there. Is there stuff on me? <laughs> Shut up, man. Is there? Holy smokes, look how fat that is. X wraps are the ticket today, but any jerk bait will do. Had to throw another cast in there. We're trying to leash, and they are just slamming these jerk baits. Look at that. <laughs> That's a three pounder, three and a half pounder all day long right there. I'm gonna put that back in there. Jerkbait smallmouth, Northwest Ontario. Now is the time to get out there. Water is about 48 degrees, 50 degrees we found. Yeah, this should be good for a while still, man. These, my arms are sore though from jerkbaiting. Maybe the, maybe the next time we'll just do grubs or something like that. Something easier, drop shot where you don't have to jerk it so much. <laughs> yeah, good time, man. On to the next spot.